Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Triple A Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Nashville Sounds and the Memphis Redbirds. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, number 81. Very dominant his last time out. Picked up the win. Only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. Now the left fielder, Sal Fraley. For the left fielder, Sal Fraley. That one to first. He steps on the bag. And a quick out number one. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's gonna go out of the ballpark and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. The wind and the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. That's in there, and that is strike two. Got it by him for the K. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Back here at the ballpark. So here's the lefty, Ethan Small. Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a gem. Bottom of the first, and here is number 47. The next pitch misses, two and one. And now the lefty. Ball three. Ripped into right center. And that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And he's there with a leadoff double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. This is Dylan Carlson. That hits the dirt, two and one. California kid played for his dad at Elk Grove High School his teammates there with Nick Madrigal on the ground to third and that's a fair ball 
Now a long throw home. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. And that's a double. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Donovan, with six hits in the series coming into this one. No outs, runner on second. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. Foul ball still, a one and two count. That's to third. Slings to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. That a good one. Okay, let's check out the lineup. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. Falling behind 2-1-1. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Carlson, the runner at second with one away. That one off the mark. Three balls and a strike. Foul ball. And here's a 3-2. Hard hit to third. Urias to first in time. And they got him. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. No, first it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Runner at second. Two down. And one and two. One ball. Two strikes. Man on second, two down. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Good job at damage control right there. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a one nothing ball game. Back after this on the show. Top of the second. Keston Hero up to hit now. The designated hitter. Keston Hero. Payoff pitch. And that's ball oh, four. That's out. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been Leading called a strike in that location. The right Tyler Naquin to the plate. Kicks and fires. Hey. It's the slider in there for a strike. One and two now. Good job to fight that one off. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. And 
And he chases that one. One out in the second. Here's Luis Urias. And here it comes. Foul ball there. At the belt and fires. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more. His timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Now batting Michael Brasso. That ball misses two. the zone, and yeah, that's ball two. <laughs> that one missed. Ball, Abraham one Toro three. up next. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Struck him out looking. We played an inning and a half. It's one nothing. Welcome back. We head to the we bottom of the second. The Here's the left fielder, Jordan left Walker. Jordan Walker. The pitch. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Fralin puts it away, and there's that one down. The first baseman, Chandler. Redman. So up next, number 31. Three, two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Three two now on the ground to third. Two up, two down. That again. That's your stop. Mason at the play. Mason win. One run batted in yesterday. Their only run of the game. One one now. Way high. One strike. Just nope. missed. Okay. Two outs. Good ball plate ball appearance ball. there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a Back very run. aggressive secondary the lead. Catch. So ball down the line or into the gap oh, will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Stepping in, Tress Barrera. Win the runner at first with two gone. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And the 3-1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 
Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. All set for the start of the Be inning. And now it's the switch inning second, the second baseman, baseman, Abraham Toro. Abraham Toro. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. This guy will throw any pitch at any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. He gets the out. Henry. Peyton Henry now at the plate. Righty delivers. The punch out there, and there are two outs. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. 3-2 now. Ground ball right side. And that's just foul. He's begging, give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. Left-hand batter waits. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. The wind of the pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. Why to kick the pitch? Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. As we go to the last of the third. And now the right fielder, the right number 47. Sung Into center. Hauls it in for the out. Now got it. Center fielder, Dylan. So digging in, Dylan Carlson. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. The one, two. Way inside, gets out of the way. That's a laser base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double. And his second hit. Everything came together for him. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now it's the second baseman, Brendan Donovan. Grounded out his first time up, and he deals. That misses, now two and two. Carlson, the runner at second with one away.
popped up left side. Rosso hauls it in, and there's two away. Now the designated hitter. Yeah. And now it's Juan Yepes. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Two outs and one in scoring position. The 1 1 is fouled off. Got him looking. And that is that. So digging in, Garrett Mitchell. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Garrett Mitchell. And a pitch. Got him. And that's the first out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Luke Voigt will step to the plate. He's 0 for 1. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. And it's even up. The sound still looking for their first hit in this one. And the next pitch is way outside. Up the middle, win. Tosses to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Now that designated hitter, Keston Hura. Here's Keston Hura. He reached out a walk his first time. That's in there. It's a ball and two strikes. And that's too high. Next pitch in the dirt. Full count now. Righty to the plate. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The wind of the pitch. And he walked him. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So up next, Tyler Naquin went down on strikes his first time through. That's towards center. Carlson settles underneath it. Makes the catch inning over. Mike Antico will hit next. The third baseman. Mike Antico. Here comes a pitch. Oh, that's it.
Swing and a miss, and he got him. One away. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The one two swing and a miss struck him out and there's two down back to back strikeouts to start the frame and that's now three in a row yeah he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches throwing them where he wants to right now so we'll see how long he can keep this streak going two down nobody on next offering is outside Ball for a strike. It's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Bounce to third, and it stays fair. Now he smashed that ball the other way and kept it fair down the third baseline. Did an excellent job of just throwing the barrel at the ball, even though he was a little late on it. So a man aboard, and the batter will be the shortstop. Mason Wynn worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. Got him swinging. Down the third baseman, Luis Urias struck out swinging his first time. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. And a pitch. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now the shortstop, Mike Brasso. Caught looking his first time up. Hit on the ground to the right side. Diving, and he can't make the play. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Back-to-back -back base hits. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now a pretty big at-bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. First and second, no outs. Here's the second baseman, Abraham Toro. Fly ball down the right field line. This one's got a chance. Home run. Abraham Toro blasts one out. His second of the year, and that's how they take the lead. It's 3-1. fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient waited for it it was like BP all over again Peyton Henry digs in now struck out looking at his first at bat and a swing and a miss you know this group of hitters did a great job Boog of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them feels like almost every at bat has gone full they've worked a full count six different times and that's the main reason his pitch count is so high right now next oh, one misses and it's two and two Ripped on a line to center. Carlson calls it in, and there's one away. 
Now battle. The left field. Sal. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Sal Fraley. Still only one out here in the inning. Up and in, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Swing and a miss. And the count's <laughs> even at two. And now it's Careful. filled up. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Three balls, two strikes to count. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Soft contact in the air. Makes the catch for the out. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Number 81 gives way. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, James Nail. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Two outs, base is empty. Now here is Garrett Mitchell, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And a 1-1. One -one. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. No swing. Kenny Jansen with the call. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Now the catcher up to hit, Tress Barrera. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Late with the swing there. Well, these guys looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side. Fires over to Voight. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Dylan Carlson. Carlson. Next offering is in for a strike. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. The pitch. 
Popped up right side. Toro giving chase. Fair ball. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to no, be no, impressive. No. When you the pop a ball baby. up like that, you Four don't expect grand. it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Ethan Small out of the game. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Now on the bump, J.B. Bukowskis. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. J.B. Bukowskis. Now it's the second baseman, Brendan Donovan. The 1-1. Nope. Two balls, one strike. Line drive, base hit, and that's going to roll to the wall. Carlson coming home. He scores, and they trail by one. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Chance now to even this game if they can put a ball in play, maybe an error, maybe a hit. Juan Yepes, the next to hit. And there's a base hit to left. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's three all. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Two outs, runner on first. Mike Antico now at the plate. Right-hander kicks deals. Just missing there. Two balls, two strikes. Right-handed reliever. And it's filled up. Bullpen activity starting up now. Jason Alexander is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Varlin getting cranked up as well. And there's ball four. Now batting the left fielder. So digging in, Jordan Walker. First and second, two down. Hard liner. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. It'll be Luke Voigt to stand in. The first base Luke Voigt. Ball to strike. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And the righty deals. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup, and that's the first out. Now that designated. So now it's the four Keston hole hitter, Keston Hero. So now one and two. One oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. I'm talking about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. 
Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. One gone runner at first. Now it's the right fielder, Tyler Naquin. Next oh, pitch is inside, and it's 2-1. Left-hand hitter waits. Right. And now it's even up. Ripped on a line. Dives and he can't hang on. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Yeah, well, that was an important bat in this game. So a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside. Saw it deep into the zone and just barreled it up. Went the other way for the knock. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And now Luis Urias. And there's a foul ball. Ripped to third and caught. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still the drive you absolutely ten. crazy. Mike. Mike. Now it's the shortstop, Mike Brasso. One for two. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Going to count one and two. One ball. And a swing and a miss. That's out number three. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And here is number 31. The first base Ball to strike, the pitch. And that one almost got him. And a 2 1 on the way. In the air, right field. Naquin drifts towards it. Brings it in. And there's one away. Now that is shortstop. Mason. And stepping in is the speedy Mason Wynn. A strikeout and a walk. The 2 1. Yeah, that skips into dirt. Action in the pen down there. Bennett Sousa, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Uribe, the hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Three-one now. Three-one, and he couldn't come up with it. Now that's a really dangerous base runner to put on first, especially in a tie game. Now there might be some consequences coming from that mistake. Man at first with one gone. Tress Barrera will hit next. Check swing. Appeal to first. And he won around. Just enough that time. The one-two. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the wall. Brasso with a relay throw. The tag out. The a lot of real estate to cover hit. on that play <laughs> defensively. A long throw to the cutoff man. And then a lot of ground to make up as well on the relay. But an excellent job of execution and getting that out at the dish as he tried to make it home all the way from first base. So up next, number 47, one for three. 
and a pitch. And a count one and two. And here comes. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Six innings are in the books. Score holds at 3-3. New pitcher now, JoJo Romero. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. JoJo Romero. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Abraham Toro. He's already homered in this game. Toro. And now the lefty swings and misses, struck him out. The batter. Here's the catcher, Peyton Henry. Henry. The wind and the pitch. That's down and in. Activity in the bullpen. Jose Martinez up and loosening in the pen. Two two on the way. And now the count filled up three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Now the left fielder, Sal Fralick. The pitch. Up the middle. No chance to get him safe at first easily. Boom, that's staying within his game now right that, there. I mean, the this speedster game. gets the infield here, here. single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. So digging in, Garrett Mitchell. Runner, Runner on the goal. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Two gone, the possible go-ahead run at first. That misses the zone, and that's ball two. The pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Ladies and gentlemen, please join for the traditional double hit Abner Uribe on a pitch here. This is his now fifth appearance of the year. Number 73, Abner Uribe. And now here is Dylan Carlson. The center fielder. Dylan Carlson. The 1-1. One -one. Just missed. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Swing and a miss. And it's two and two. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. In the air, left field down the line. Fralick makes the grab on the run. Now that the second baseman, Brendan. Now, Brendan Donovan. Donovan. 
Swings and misses. And it's one and two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. In the dirt. Fires over to Voigt. And that quickly two away. Now back. The designated hitter. And now the DH, Juan Yepes. Yepes. Now all even up. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number 34. And he's got a big-time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. And here's Luke Voigt. The pitch. 3-2 now. We got full count. The other way, and he beats the shift. Always feels amazing now getting the job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. No outs. Runner at first. Now it's the DH. Keston Hira kicks and fires. Fly ball down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Double play ball to second. Flips for one. Wow. And two. In time to first for the double play. Now that out. the right player. Tyler. Tyler Naquin getting ready to hit. 2-2 two, two now. That one, 95 to finish him off. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Justin Wilson. He has a great slider with tons of movement. So digging in, Mike Antico. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. The 1-1. One -one. And he takes a strike. Slider misses outside. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. He goes down looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Next to hit, Jordan Walker. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. And that's in there at the knees. At the belt and fires. Bounce to the right side. Fires over to Voigt. And that quickly, two away. Now back up. The first baseman, Chandler. And here's the first baseman, number 31. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. You try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And that's ball four. The battle. Not sure not sure Mason Wynn, the next to hit. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Two outs. 
Swing and a miss. Two and two. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. It's the ninth, and we are tied. And welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Luis Urias. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And now 1 and 2. Well, you can't offer it that pitch in an 0-0 count. It's a strike, but not every strike is a good strike early in the count. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one away. And the batter will be the shortstop, Mike Brasso. The pitch. And a 2 1 hammered, but foul. And the right hander deals. That's hard hit in the line. And there's two away. Man, if that drops right there, they would have gotten the potential now, winning run on base, base, maybe even in the scoring yeah. position. Oh. But that's just one of those hang with them. Abraham Toro now at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. The wind of the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the pitch stays alive. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And another ball. Peyton Henry waiting for a turn at the plate. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Now the Go ahead, run on base. And now the catcher comes up to him. Peyton Henry. And he deals. And a curve misses outside. Two and one now. There's a strike. The 2-2. Swing and a miss, and that is that. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. All tied up at three apiece. Back Ladies now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Gus Farland. Number 47, Gus now it's going to be Tress Barrera. Here's a 1-1. Swings through that one out in front that time. Movement in the bullpen. Bennett Sousa, the closer of the staff, is throwing. The 1-2. And 
a swing and a miss. One out, bottom of the ninth. So the lineup now flips down. over. And the now the right field. fielder, number 47. The wind of the pitch. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. That one misses. Ball two. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. On a line. And it's off the wall. Naquin throws to second, but he's in there easily. All over that one right there. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing. And a fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out of here. Now just one swing away from potentially walking this thing off. One out, runner at second. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Dylan Carlson. And a pitch. And a count one and two. Righty to the plate. In the air, left field. Freilich has a beat on it. Squeezes it. And there's two away. Now back the second baseman. Brendan. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Donovan. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Trying to send this sex innings. Two balls, one strike. Winning run stands at second. Good eye right there. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Juan Yepes in the on-deck circle. Man at second. Fouls one away and now three and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Winning run and scored in position with two away. And ball four, two aboard. Now, the hitter. And now it's going to be Juan Yepes. It's a good spot to be in with runners on first and second. You know the pitcher is going to come after you. The 1 1. Check swing, and he held up. Two-one pitch is in there, and the count is even. Right-handed reliever. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Jose Martinez. Number 76, Jose Martinez. So digging in, Sal Fraley. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. Two one now. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Makes the grab one down.
Now the number the two hitter, Garrett five. Mitchell. Garrett. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting inning ending double play. That misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Bullpen activity starting up now. Andre Palante appears to be getting loose. Number 61 getting loose as well. In for a strike, two and two. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. This one in the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Walker makes the grab, and there's two out. Now back the first base. Move. And Luke Voigt climbs in. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Next pitch is outside. Man on second, two down. Curveball over for a called strike. Two down, go ahead run at scoring position. There as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing across, no base hits, no errors, and one man left. On to the bottom of inning number 10. All tied up at three apiece. Back here at the ballpark, now the third baseman, Mike Antico. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. So a big opportunity here with the score tied and that runner on second to start the bottom of the inning. Yeah, and you know they're eager to cash in. You just don't want to come out of your shoes and make a mistake. Got to play this smart. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Here's the left fielder, Jordan Walker. Winning run on second, no one out. Next pitch is outside. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Bennett Sousa getting loose out there. Bush, a right-hander. Loosening up as well. Swung on, belted. Mitchell reaching back towards the wall. Back some more. Onto the warning track, and he hauls it in. Runner tags and goes to third. Thought that was a no doubter. Like the wind was holding no, no, no. that in this ball. Chandler. Two on, one out. And now the first baseman, number 31. The 1-1. One, one. That's the ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. One down and the winning run at third. And a miss. And out two and two. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The 2-2. Two -two. That's inside. So here we go. Base runner at first. 
could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Left-hand batter waits. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. That's out to center field. Mitchell gets under it, drops into the glove. Runner tags for home. Throw not in time, and they walk it off. These can be tough at bats when you know you've got to get the ball in the air at worst case scenario. That pitcher is going to try to tie you up, throw you up and in, but he did a good job pulling the hands through. Extension to put that ball deep enough out into the outfield to score that run and win this game. Four three, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Our final line score, first for the victorious Redbirds, four runs on nine hits, no errors, they left ten men on base. For the Sounds, three runs on seven hits, no errors, they left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 36 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please drive home safely. the summer.